Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip, we're gonna talk about the fact that a resident does not have to have legal custody of a dependent in order for that dependent to live in the household. Recently, we had a manager that sent us an email wanting to know if her resident could indeed take her granddaughter in. It seems that the mother and father are not married, that the mother is or was the sole custodian, but the father has given the grandmother permission to take the daughter. Now, the manager was all against this. Oh no, she can't move in, she can't have. But if you will look at chapter five, paragraph 5-10A1, it tells you that a household does not have to have legal custody of a dependent to claim the dependent. And we've had this happen over and over and over. What I do want you to understand is that HUD looks at it as if any other individual is moving into that household. You will have to have an application for that child. You will have to have that child's social security number. But you don't have to have anything from the court showing that the grandmother has legal guardianship of the child. What you do want to make sure though is that that child lives in that unit and you can verify that by going to the school to see what address the school is listing for the child. Also keep in mind you have to do everything else that you would do for another resident that's moving into that unit. Just know that that child is going to be safer living on your property with the grandmother without taking the grandmother through a whole lot of hoops, okay? Read chapter five, paragraph 510A1, and hopefully everything will work out for everyone, including you, and mostly, mostly the child. Keep that in mind. Thank you. Tune in for another Tuesday tip.